welcome to creator classes this is our 15th lecture under the quadrilateral series and in this lecture we will cover our 10th theorem that is the line drawn through the midpoint of one side of a triangle parallel to the another side bisect the third side this theorem is converse of our previous theorem that is our 9th theorem let's prove the theorem let's take the triangle abc where e is the midpoint of ab and f is some point on ac and ef is parallel to bc this is the given portion we have to prove f is the midpoint of ac this is the converse of the previous theorem so in line with the previous theorem we will draw a line from point c parallel to ab so here cm is parallel to ab extend the line ef to meet cm at point d so if you observe the quadrilateral ebcd ed is parallel to bc as ef is parallel to bc that is the given and eb is parallel to cd that is by construction since both pair of opposite sides are parallel ebcd is a parallelogram okay so we have got ebcd as a parallelogram and we know opposite sides of parallelogram are equal so eb is equal to dc but it is given eb is equal to ea okay e is the midpoint of ab so we can say ea is equal to dc also eb is parallel to dc okay as ab is parallel to cd so we can say eb is parallel to dc and if we observe ed is the transversal to the line eb and dc so we can say angle aef is equal to angle cdf why because they are pair of alternate interior angles and if you observe the triangle aef and triangle cdf we can say angle afv is equal to angle cfd why because these are vertically opposite angles and we have also proved angle aef is equal to angle cdf as alternate interior angles and ae is equal to cd the same we have already proved so by aas rule we can say the triangle aef is congruent to triangle cdf and by cpct we can say the corresponding sides are equal that is af is equal to cf okay we have proved f is the midpoint of ac that is the proof of the theorem okay students with this theorem we have covered all the theorems related to the quadrilateral we have covered all this 10th theorem which are part of the quadrilateral series so till now we have done all the fundamentals of the quadrilaterals and the polygon we have covered all the theorems now we will go for the questions based on the quadrilateral and the polygon so from the next lecture onward we will cover the question series for more information visit our website creataclasses.com the link is given in the description so thank you very much for being with creataclasses bye for now